Hello YouTube, it is me, Speed Sloth. It's been three months, yes, I know, but I'm back. And today I'm looking at the Aurora LN, Star Citizen. Now the LN is more of the fighter of the Aurora series, and it's good for defending a ship like your Constellation that might be hauling valuable cargo. Now this ship, along with all the other Auroras in the series, is 18.5 meters long, 8.25 meters wide, and 4.1 meters tall. They all weigh about the same, with this one being uh, 600, sorry, 800 kilograms more or less heavier than every other one. It can take a cargo capacity of 16 freight units, which is the same as all the other ones aside from the CL, which is 36. It's crewed by one still. It still has a max power plant size of two. The factory engine is the same as all the other ones. The LR5 Max Overdrive 1, which is a tier 3. It has eight maneuvering thrusters, of which are tier 1. The max shield is 3, and it has an all stop shield. Now, the engine it has, which is obviously the main source of thrust, is a um, Voshkod Enduria 4. And that is the same engine that is in the LX, which is the luxury version of the ship, so we can expect it to be very good. It has a all-stop shield generator, if I didn't say already. It has one mini storage container, which as you can probably tell, it's not here. It's supposed to go right here, but it's not actually here. This is your bed. Um, and it doesn't actually have a jump engine, like the LX, which actually makes it a bit of a disadvantage if you're using it to escort something like a constellation that does have a jump engine if you're going in between systems because this will only be able to stay in the one system as far as I know so the first thing I saw this ship was I love the colors the colors are just amazing yellow white and green really matches with the silver And this ship does have PBR. Got it a while ago. It does make it look very good, very shiny. Now you got your bulldog repeaters at the bottom. These are gimbaled. You also have four missile mounts. See on the top is the power plant. Pretty sure, and I'm pretty sure that these units here are the better take systems. So underneath again, let's take a look. That's your bed. In the LX, these gray parts are windows. But not here. Uh, underneath here there's actually quite a bit of space, but I am in fact crouching underneath as it is not quite high enough, though it looks like it could be. Oh, never mind. So you can walk under it. Well, this is a maneuvering thruster. Almost looks low res, but I'm also running at 720p to get the higher FPS I would desire. I'm not sure what these little fins are. It's almost like there's a handle or some sort of cable there. I'm not entirely sure. Um, also on these wings, these doors, they're fans. They're also present on the constellation. And that's how it lands and takes off from a planet. Uh, like hovering and such. I guess because the manu maneuvering thrusters are not quite strong enough. So, let's go inside and take a look. Just come up here, activate the door very beautiful animation is used. So let's walk up the ladder. Come inside and right away you can 
hear the atmospheric noises. Unfortunately, you cannot close the door by standing here and clicking F. So instead, that just allows you to get out using the animation. So if we just go back in. You can also see that you can just run out at this point. You don't have to use the ladder. If you miss the animation, we'll just come along to this side. Watch it again. It's very crisp. There's a little bit of clipping on the glass between two parts. You saw near the front. The cockpit. You can't see it from here. There's also some clipping right right around there. But this seat. This is a seat that is present on the LX, which is the luxury ship. I don't think I can get around just to show it off. It's orange. It's an orange leather seat. Now I came in here and I saw that this is not doesn't look two dimensions. It looks three dimensions. I'm not entirely sure. I cannot really tell. It almost looks 2D, but if you're standing from just like back here, it looks 3D. So, well done for them, for making it look so good. They also, I think they succeeded with this chrome very well. You can't see it in here as well as you could in the Phoenix, but it's still wonderful. In here you have some air vents or coolant system of some kind. So I'm not sure what that is, probably a light or something of some kind. And I think those maybe they're food or storage containers or something, maybe a power supply area or something, I'm not entirely sure. Back here you can see we have the bed. So first though, let's get in the cockpit. Very good animation. This is one of the earlier ones that they had finished. The leg kind of clipped through the seat a little bit, but that's okay. They actually have all the sounds and such inputted in. If you heard that hissing earlier, you will see that the doors are closed. So there is a way now to close the doors in your Aurora by getting in the cockpit. If you zoom in here, you can see this seat. It is very nice. The kind of a car I would want in my car, or a seat I would want in my car. These hands you don't see are kind of clipping through the joysticks. So I would expect them to fin it, fix it at some point, but I don't see it as a major concern. So if we just look up at the top here, you know I said that the vent here on the top was the power plant. I'm not, I don't remember which is which. Could be this spherical chamber on the top as well. It's either the power plant or the shield. You, s you can see the engine here. Almost looks carbon fiber or something. There's actually quite a few components to the actual engine. Quite a few thrusters it looks like. Just come view it from an angle. It's a very good ship. So if we get out of the seat, we'll be able to see the animation. You see that the joysticks kind of retract, maybe? At least they come towards the player when you're in the seat. And I was also wondering, what is this canister on the back of the seat? I've almost concluded that it's some sort of power or oxygen. Maybe even a parachute if you had to bail out over a planet, which you can actually do in this ship. Come around here and we'll enter the bed. You can see in the back though those grey panels, they are apparently one-way glass. Because if you saw earlier, you couldn't see through them. You can in here, but you cannot look into them from the outside. In the LX, the top where you're looking, that white block, that is actually replaced by a window so you can look up in space when you're sleeping and see the night sky. You 
can't move your head. Kind of like pinch your nose here when you get out. Almost bang your head it seems, but more clear. Some caution tape up here so you don't bang your head. You are actually, cr oh, you used to have to crouch in here. Kind of a bug I guess, because now, as you can see, we're just standing at full height. I am not crouching. It's kind of hard to see I guess, but. Let's go back into first person. You see those windows, you can see through them here. Now when I first got this ship, I was in here. I looked at the animation of opening the door from the inside, and I was amazed. Because I've never seen anything like it. I said, wow. It's a lot of effort they put into it see it on the other side. Very beautiful animations. Very crisp. Someone put a lot of time into that. Kudos to them. So we'll just get out the proper way. So, if you noticed possibly, this round door this round door. Constellation. Now yes, it has been declared that Constellation and the Aurora will potentially be able to dock with each other, and potentially stations and stuff like that. Pretty sure that is a telescoping apparatus, so it kind of pops out, and therefore would allow the Aurora to connect. So you can kind of possibly have a delegate or something from a planet come in on their aurora, come over to the constellation Phoenix, dock together, and have a meeting inside. Which is one of the reasons that this ship is so versatile and is one of the starting ones. Because it's, it's so multi-purpose. So also, a, a little bit back, a couple weeks ago, I spawned in and I noticed the hangar was a bit different. It wasn't as bright. As you can see, it always has a blue tint to everything. The floors are, yes, they're shiny. More shiny than they were prior to the update. Also, they have this thing by Original Systems, which is now where you access Arena Commander from. Of course, you can click Escape and go Arena Commander. But this capsule is very nice looking indeed. I'm just going to activate the animation here. I don't actually want to do this. I was just looking at the animation. It's a very crisp animations, just like animations on the Aurora. So I'm very pleased with that. Good job. I almost would like it to be upstairs, though. I think. The nod spot. But not only the hangar differences and this device, but if you come back here now, walk through. This door opens up. So this is obviously the first step to the modular hangars, where you can have your room and stuff with your bed and such, but I love that animation on that door. You just come up closer to it again, see it kind of things unscrew and then it kind of just separates. So that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. Sorry I've been so busy. I'm going to try to get more videos out. But thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more. Goodbye.